Over the past 20 years, there has been research on mindfulness and the benefits to meditation. In just a few short weeks, meditation can bring physiological, psychological, and social benefits in our lives. There are thousands of individual studies that document the many benefits to mindful meditation. One consistent finding is that the benefits of mindfulness practice is dose-dependent. In other words, those who practice more consistently and regularly experience the greatest benefits. There is a lack of agreement as to what is enough time spent in practice. According to a Zen saying on practice, you should sit in meditation for 20 minutes every day, unless you're too busy. Then you should sit for an hour. Old Zen adage. The field of positive psychology has accumulating evidence that the mindful practice of gratitude produces measurable positive outcomes to health, relationships, sense of happiness, increased motivation to exercise, and altruistic contributions to society. Recent studies on gratitude have demonstrated that when persons feel gratitude, the parts of the brain that are stimulated are those associated with socialization and pleasure. When feelings of gratitude are sustained over time, the prolonged stimulation of these neural networks contributes to the relief of stress, leading to resilient health benefits. Practicing gratitude can lead to structural changes in the brain that reduces depression. The benefits of gratitude stem from the functions it serves in our lives to bring us together, raise awareness of what we have, and propels us to consider how we can recognize and spread human goodness. John Kabat-Zinn, author and creator of the Stress Reduction Clinic and Center for Mindfulness in Medicine, Healthcare, and Society at the University of Massachusetts Medical School tells us, Mindfulness is about love and loving life. When you cultivate this love, it gives you clarity and compassion for life and your actions happen in accordance with that. Lessons on human nature come to us from the research of Dr. Keltner in the book Born to be Good, The Science of a Meaningful Life. Contrary to traditional notions of survival of the fittest, Keltner proposes that the evolution of humans has been built from kindness. In early tribal societies, pro-social behaviors were the most valued and life-sustaining. Pro-social behaviors led humans to parent their young, hunt in teams, and lead by collaboration. He argues that emotions work to promote kindness, humanity, and respect between people. Keltner demonstrates that the intrinsic value in the human spirit is to foster more goodness and well-being for others in meaningful ways. His research indicates that the good that occurs in our lives, whether we have extended it or received it, is far more valued and remembered in our hearts than our errors and mistakes. Jack Kornfield, author, mindfulness teacher, and Buddhist, has much wisdom and experience with mindfulness and gratitude. To be mindful is to see the world afresh, without being lost in our reactions and judgments, and in seeing it afresh with a clarity, we begin to be able to respond to the world rather than react to it. It is loving awareness and connection that brings us well-being. The cultivation of mindfulness really allows us to become present for our own body, for the person in front of us, for the life we've been given. Out of that grows quite naturally the spirit of gratitude. Cultivating an opening to gratitude also helps us to become more mindful of the life around us and what circumstance we're in. Jack Cornfield. Gratitude practice is simply being thankful for the good in our lives. By focusing us on positive rather than negative thoughts, it helps us to see the cup of life as half full rather than as half empty. It reminds us not to be greedy and to find satisfaction in what we have, though we may strive for more. 
Gratitude requires no sacrifice, but provides great rewards in compassion, happiness, and mindfulness from your skillful means. As you open yourself to manifestations of gratitude, consider how you may apply these mindfulness principles to support you in your experience. Explore your feelings of gratitude and ingratitude with non-judgmental awareness. Know what you are aware of. Notice gratitude in your experience. Create an opening to your gratitude without trying to fix it. Open your heart to a sense of care and appreciation. Hone or deepen your appreciation in the moment. The Three Good Blessings Practice This is a simple exercise to direct your attention away from negative things and toward the positive things, the benefits that have occurred to you during the day. Each night before you go to bed, think of three blessings or good things that happened during the day. Write them down. Reflect on why they happened. Taking the time to reflect on the why is the most important part of the exercise. Taking the time to reflect on the why is the most important part of the exercise. For example, perhaps your spouse made you a cup of coffee. Why is this a good thing, a blessing? Perhaps you find that you are grateful to have the resources for coffee and for a market that carries the coffee you like. You may come to appreciate that your spouse took the time from his or her day to prepare something for you. The coffee was a gift, an expression of love. You are uncovering connections to your community, your provisions, and your spouse through this reflection. Practices are essential to integrate what we are doing. The practices that you choose to engage in may be those of thoughtful reflection, word, or deed. Most often, your meditation will provide the opportunity for the reflection, which may, in turn, inspire you to take action and to respond to the world in a new way. It is not a passive act, but generative in providing growth, strength, and awakenings for new ways of connecting in the world. Practices in word involve the recitation of prayers and affirmations, the writings of thoughts and journals, the expressions of gratitude through discourse or thank you letters. The words provide an opportunity to externalize thoughts for more examination, to remember, to share, and through those processes, arrive at deeper comprehension and meaning. Practices indeed are those in which we act. We take an action, usually in service to others. We enact a response in the world that furthers our awareness and contribution to both ourselves and the other. In that service, we demonstrate the higher levels of giving, compassion, mercy, and kindness.